Welcome to Golf Life. Alyssa Kesar, what's happening? How are you? I'm doing great, Colton. Greetings from sunny San Diego. It's another perfect, beautiful day here. How's everything with you? All is well here. We have a fantastic show for you this month. A lot of awesome golf content coming your way. Why don't you tell the folks what to expect? Yeah, we have a great show lined up. You go virtual with top teacher Jeff Ritter from Oregon and get some tips for your short game. We get to check out the new 2020 Fat Scooters. And of course, I get to update you all on what's going on with the new Lady Golfer Diaries. Plus, I learned more about the custom fitting process for your irons and your driver and how important it is for your golf swing. But first, we sit down with Carden Hart to talk about our greatest golf moments during COVID. Yep, that was really fun. Let's go check it out. So Karin Hart joins us all the way from Florida. Karin, how are we doing? Hey guys, how's it going? I'm doing great. Wonderful, sunny St. Pete for now at least. The tropical storm hasn't hit yet. <laughs> well, you know, golf is thriving here in the United States during this time, obviously COVID-19. But we kind of want to hear from both of you guys what your best golf moments were during COVID. Yeah. Uh, Alyssa, we'll start with okay, you. Okay, sounds great. Yeah, I mean, once the golf course is open back up, it was such a relief for me. I spend so much time out there and with all the uncertainty and craziness going around in the world, it was the one place I could always go where I just felt completely normal out there, having fun with my friends, laughing, and, and getting to play this game that we all love. So for me, I've gotten in so many rounds. I've had a chance to work with, once coaches were able to start doing their lessons again, I got to work with my coach, Mike Maggs, a bunch. Uh, and then I got to get out on the course and play a lot of rounds. So I've been steadily improving, uh, working on getting that handicap down, uh, having some really great moments out on the course, but I'll update you on the specifics of that once we get to the new Lady Golfer updates. Car, what about you? Yeah, you know, it's crazy because they I think they tried to close the courses down here in Florida for like one day and like everyone freaked out. So we actually had our courses open throughout the whole COVID pandemic. Um, it was pretty crazy because not a lot of people were out there and they were open. So I actually played a lot of golf and a lot of fast golf, which is also very rare. So I really enjoyed it. Um, I was also able to go back to Colorado to see my family. And I had an amazing trip with my dad and we were able to go play Breckenridge Golf Club. So that was definitely a highlight in my COVID period, which has been obviously so hard on everyone and affected so many people. But, you know, I've really been looking for the little highlights and tidbits of good news. So that was definitely a good little memory that I made with my dad during COVID. That's yeah, awesome. awesome. Yeah, here in Colorado, you know, there's, with us, we, we kind of stick to different golf courses in the Denver metro area, but with COVID, it allowed us to kind of branch out and kind of explore different golf courses throughout Colorado. And one golf course that we really explored was Pelican Lakes in Windsor. A beautiful, beautiful golf course. Karin, I don't know if you've ever played I have. it. But, I mean, it's got the most shoreline in the United States, and it's crazy to think that a golf course in Windsor, Colorado has the most shoreline in the United <laughs> States. That's kind of been my biggest thing is just exploring new golf courses around Colorado, which has been great, um, and, and experiencing those different situations. Yeah, sure. that's awesome. Um, one thing I've been able to notice, especially lately here in California, I think this whole, I'm always trying to see silver linings, and this whole situation, I think is gonna be really great for the game of golf because it's now back on TV. And luck now we have some of the other sports coming back on as well, but golf was sort of that first one to be back on. So people I think embrace that. And now virtually, it's virtually impossible to get tee times here in California. I'm struggling on a routine basis. You have to kind of take what you can get or maybe get out only at twilight for nine holes. But ultimately I think it's gonna be great for the game of golf. For sure. I can add on to that note a little bit. I really think that um, COVID coming through and taking away like sports, like mainstream team sports from people, um, even tennis, you know, a lot of tennis centers were closed down. Golf was one of the only sports that I guess was sta stayed available during this time. So I really think it picked up in popularity and I'm just so excited for new people to be starting to play the sport and experience it out on the course. So I'm super happy for the growth of the sport. Yeah, the, the growth of sport is amazing. And, and you know what, I, I've talked to a few people and they've said kind of the mental health 
part of of going out to the golf course and uh, experiencing that you know the outdoors and doing all that stuff has been great so we really appreciate you two joining us here on golf life you guys have a great week great month continue playing that great sport of golf and we'll talk to you guys soon thanks colton bye Alyssa. <laughs> bye